Hi guys, welcome back to Geezer Grills. Today we are doing, well it's a funny one really, they are sort of like onion, bacon, burger, donuts. <laughs> I know, they're sort of like an onion, bacon, burger, donut, but the onion, hence, bacon, hence, burger, beautiful steak mints, courtesy of LFB Meats, and the reason donut is because they are going to be round. Anyway, look, I'll show you what we're going to do. First of all, I bought the biggest onion I could find, and then I bought the second biggest onion I could find, all right? Um, I always find it just goes straight down the middle, and what we're creating is onion rings, okay? I go in there, something about half inch, give or take. <laughs> That's what I told her anyway. All right, something and them, them, them sort of line. And then, then, then. Jesus Christ, that's fucking hell. That's something like that. Obviously, you got to work what you got. Okay, dokey. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to get that out of ring. All right. Go for the crunch a bit. And then we're going to get a smaller inner ring. Like so. Turn them up so they're both the same way. That can go. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to fill, infill that part there. Yeah. With some of the best fucking mints I ever have. And this is a, a steak mint. It's fucking beautiful every time. So what we're going to do is take our bit of steak mints. Now, there's no easy way of doing it. I've tried many different ways. I've tried turning it into sausages. I've tried rolling it out. I've tried just sticking it in. So all I'm going to say is I wish you all the luck in the world. All right? I'm going to try a sausage technique today. You'll have to excuse that Traeger because she's, uh, she is cooking up some beef ribs at the moment, which is another video. See, don't fucking stop around here, guys. You know what I mean? You want to make it so that your beef fits that ring perfectly. All right. Like there. Make sure there's no holes. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring you a bit closer, I think. Okay. Now what the plan is, is to get that to fit in there like so. Might need a little bit more there. As I say, it's trial and error, guys. It is trial and error. Plunk that in there. All right. Ta-da! Then, next stage. Now, I got this for this um, streaky bacon from Asda's. The reason I like it when you're doing these is this is because it's so bloody thin. It means that it cooks quick and it wraps easy. And then all you're gonna do, it looks like those, looks like when you used to, <laughs> used to see those pom-pom things you used to have to make in fucking textiles when you were textiles at school. That's what it's like. And you're wrapping this all the way round. Make sure there's no gaps. Make sure you go over the top and underneath. Now I know it's a ball lake, I mean, but you know it's ain't different, isn't it. But I've got to promise you, they're bloody tasty. They are tasty, tasty, very, very tasty. What was that advert off of? Dee dee dee. It. it. That's it. 
and there you have it. Hence the reason <laughs> you call it a onion burger, a bacon onion burger donut, as you can see why. Now, these I'm going to get these all prepared up. I'm going to make as many as I can out of what I got here. And then I'm going to save these for when the kids come home and then they're going to be cooked on the Commando Joe. It's like fucking play though, isn't it? <laughs> and there you have it. That's the squidge technique, guys. Fucking don't say so don't get talk fuck all around here, mate. And away we go again. Once you get going, you can get done, get through quite a few of these. Let's say they're nice and easy, but they're bloody tasty. It's just something a little bit different, you know? And there's another one. Fuck it, let's go for four, shall we? Let's go for four. What have we got here? We've got a smaller one, bigger one. You can see why having big onions is a massive help. Right, there you have it, guys. Our bacon... <laughs> it's a fucking mouthful, isn't it? Our bacon, onion, burgers, donuts. Or donut, bacon, burgers, donut. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to call them. They're always like a bacon, an, a bacon, an onion bacon burger, an onion bacon burger donut. There's something along those sort of lines, but you can see where you're getting the idea from. All right, guys, so the only thing that we've got left to do now, we're going to put these bad boys on here. All right. And then all I'm going to do is get your sa the seasoning that you like. I'm going to use a smoky pig here, and it's just a little sprinkle. Just another little bit of helping out, a bit of flavour. Don't even have to do both sides, it's up to you. Just gives them a little bit more. And there we go. These guys are now ready to go into the fridge. And when the kids come home from school, they're going on a Commander Joe. So I shall see you then, guys. Hi guys, welcome back. My little girl is back from school now, so that means cooking time for me. As you can see, we're set up on an indirect can't beat a bit of indirect. We are gonna give these grill grates a bit of a spray. We're pushing about 380, short of 400 on there. Stop the old stickage. And I reckon it's probably gonna take about 25 minutes. I'm gonna put them on for 10, I'm gonna flip them, and uh, we'll see where we are. But I mean, at the bottom line, listen for the sizzle, guys. Listen for the sizzle. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, look at that. I'll play up playing that fucking hoopla game, you know, um, when you go to a bloody fair. <laughs> or I win a prize. Um, yeah, I reckon probably about 25 minutes I said. Well, I'll come back in 10, hopefully flip them. But the bottom line is you'll really just want to see when you're happy with the level of crispiness on that bacon. All right, guys, so I shall see you back in 10. All right, 10 minutes is up. Let's have a little flip anyway. Right guys, we are at the 25 minute mark. That now tells me that these are cooked inside, which I'm very happy with. Now it's gonna be about personal preference. So I want my um, bacon to be crispier than that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these off. And we are gonna take out that deflector and get some flame on the go. And crisp up that bacon. Pop that on there for a sec. That is going to be very hot. That can just be popped in there, out of the way. That can all come out of there as well. Actually, I'm just getting both out here. That can go on there for a sec. And now, it's time to get some flame on the go. I think I need to adjust my hinge here a little bit. A little bit issue there and now we're starting to get a bit of flame let's get these bad boys on as i say it's cooked now so it's your personal preference of how much you want that bacon done me i like crispy bacon guys starting to get a nice bit of flame out of there happy days Jeez, that's hot and now one glove on now we're starting to get a bit of color that's what we're after oh lovely Oh, come on, baby. That one still needs a bit more on it. I think that seems to be a bit hot on this side. Oh, slippy sucker. Bring you over here. Put that one over there. There we go. A little bit of flare up. Don't you flare up at me. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to wife. They are looking beautiful. I think I'm just about there, guys. Oh, 
You can't beat a bit of the old sizzle, can you? Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. We are there. Look at that. Now, all we need to do, toast the old brioche. Quick toast on there. We're keeping it simple today, guys, as usual. Bit of ketchup. What more do you need? Faster than a speeding bullet. That's us. In there, in there. Shut this. Oh, he's a tiger. He lost that. Caught up with a fucking nightmare, wasn't he? <laughs> that's that, that's that. Let's bring you around the front, guys, and see what we're going to do. Really simple. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Oh, fuck me. Decisions, decisions. That one, right there, looks like it's going to fit in that bun perfectly. And I'm right, look at that. As I say to you, all we're going to do, oh, Chris, Jesus Christ, slippery suck at that one. That shot a little bit early. We don't want that, do we? Nobody wants that. <laughs> all right. That on top of there. And here we go. Oh, hot. Mmm. Oh, hot, 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 lovely. The meat is definitely cooked. The onions are still crunchy, believe it or not. I don't know if I go again. Oh, mate. That is definitely worth a go. It's a different, different take on a burger. A little bit of fun, a little bit of work, but hey-ho. I'm going again, sorry guys, I'll be with you in a minute. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If someone put that in front of you, you wouldn't be upset. Now remember, don't forget to push all the fucking buttons and I'll see you next time.